You're welcome back. It's still Plus Politics, and my name is Nyam Gul Agadi. Now, the concern is the Department of State Services, DSS, has said that some key political players are plotting to foist an interim government in Nigeria. According to the DSS spokesman, Peter Afunanya, in a statement stated that some people have weighed various options, which include, among others, to sponsor endless violent mass protests in major cities to warrant a declaration of state of emergency. The service said that another plot to foist interim government is to obtain frivolous court injunctions uh, to forestall the inauguration of new executive administrations and legislative houses in the federal and state levels. Information just reaching us from our correspondents in Niger State is that in Kagara, Rafi, Niger State, gunmen have attacked gunmen, government science secondary school at around 2 a.m., shot dead one student and abducted 42 people, including 27 students, even though that is not uh, directly related to what we're talking about from DSS. We're being joined now to discuss the security situation in Nigeria by Dixon Omodiale Osaje, a criminologist and global security analyst. Good evening and welcome to the program, Dixon. Thank you for having me, Gaji. Okay, we'd like to know how security works. Sometimes we are told that for security purposes, some information cannot come to public glare. And now, here we are, DSS telling us that there are people fomenting trouble to make sure Nigeria stays perpetually in uh, unrest so that there could be an interim government. Should that information come to the public or should the people be arrested and interrogated privately? Why are we hearing this? Oh, what a fantastic question. Thank you very much, Ogaji, for having me. I think uh, sometimes we fail to understand how security operates in our crime. Uh, we just think we can come on air at any given time to just talk about uh, uh, what is happening, giving us information that is not necessarily as supposed to be out there. Uh, the DSS is a respectable uh, security agent. Uh, they've been doing so well to their own capacity. But for me, I don't think it's essential for them to always come to the, to the, to the, to the, to the media space and tell the public that, hey, X, Y, Z uh, information we're having and that we uh, have an information that some people are trying to disrupt. No, 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 security don't work that way. When you have an information about people you think are going to, you know, be a threat to the uh, to, to, to national security, when you have information about people you think that they are going to, you know, foster the progress of our democracy, what you need to do is to, you know, you know, go into action, carry out a by boss operation, if may be, if, it's, if it has to do with uh, narcotics or whatever the case may be, but if it has to do with the criminal element or gangsterism, what the DSS needs to do is to carry out a sting operation, you know, and pick out those guys from the space, you know, because you telling them or trying to, uh, you know, tell them uh, you understand their plan, whatever the case may be, I don't think it's uh, acceptable. However, there's what we call psychological deterrence. Uh, psychological deterrence is for you to, you know, apply psychology, uh, the application of psychology to deter would-be criminals or crime in progress. I think that is the part the DSS are trying to uh, tread, but it's not a professional path when it comes to national security, in the sense that if you don't go into a sting operation to, you know, foster such plan or arrest those you think uh, need to be arrested and bring them to justice, and you just think you can just dish a statement out there to tell people that you understand their plan and they should stop that, in this 21st century, uh, we've seen people in gunpoint, not even surrendering to the enemy. We've seen people surrounded by uh, by the enemy. They don't. They didn't even surrender. Let me talk about you coming out with your ways or verbally to, you know, uh, uh, foster such kind of happiness. It's not going to work that way. What the DSS should start doing as for, is to carry out a sting operation and bring out or uh, arrest those they think are uh, going to constitute threat to the national security. Okay, so uh, apart from carrying out the sting operation that you're calling, what else could they have done instead of coming to public media, to the public space to tell us that this is what is about to happen, especially as we do not even know if they have concrete evidence that they can show us if we, want, if we demand of them. What should they have done? All right, this is what they should have done. Uh, uh, Ogaji, uh, we are all Nigerians and we all believe uh, in the survival of this great nation and what you guys, the media, are doing out there, to be very honest, it's a fantastic job you guys are doing and nobody uh, has the right to, you know, intimidate the media because your loyalty is to the people. Now, what the uh, DSS should be doing is that they need to carry out, uh, check the open source information. We have various information 
apart from human intelligence, we have the open source information. That is the media, the uh, Facebook, the Instagram. Now, for example, if you go into the Instagram, you can you definitely identify. I personally, I'm saying this with all authority. I've been reading the comments of uh, uh, what's his name, uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, Festus Kiyamo. I've been reading the deadly, dangerous statement from uh, Femi Panik Hayode. I've been reading some other statement from uh, other political parties as well. Uh, no party is immune to what is happening. Uh, the Baba Judo uh, is very, very, uh, it's, it's unacceptable. The DSS should invite these guys to the office and say, hey, guys, enough of this conflict uh, distribution, enough of this crisis uh, distribution, because all I could see or what I can say about these guys, they are all crisis and conflict entrepreneurs, because I don't expect people of such level to be talking and also instigating, uh, uh, you know, a fear to the society, calling for war, calling for a national arrest or whatever the case may be. So the DSS know these people, and I'm going to tell you the truth, they know these people. Uh, the last time we have FFK uh, talking about military trying to take over power, the DSS invited him to come and prove his facts. So such kind of invitation should also be carried out across all parties. No party is immune. Because what I've seen so far with Gaji is that these are political allies. They disappointed us, uh, disappointed us verbal-wise because they fail to understand that any given war starts from the maps. And that is why uh, the Bible says life and death is in the tongue. So they need to start taming their tongue if they believe in Nigeria. If they don't tame their tongue, and anything go wrong with Nigeria, each and every one of them will be drawn to the battlefield. Let them come and fight the battle they all started with their mouths. Before the elections, uh, all the parties, at least uh, most of the parties, signed what they called a peace accord. It doesn't seem to be working. Right. Uh, what else could have been done? Do we have alternatives? Because they go and sign a paper and then come out, and everything that they went against in the paper is being done. So. What other things can be put, uh, f to be fair to the, to the organizations that organize this, for them to come and sign this uh, peace accord, you, they, they've done a good job. But what else can be added so that we know that the elections, next election, all the elections coming up, subsequent elections, will be peaceful, but it, especially after the elections, the polity will still be as peaceful as we want it to be. Because the, the peace accord doesn't seem to work after the elections. Ogaji, you're a fantastic journalist. I must tell you the truth. That is a fantastic uh, position. And uh, we must tell ourselves the truth as a nation, you know. That is why I always uh, admire, you know, coming to Plus TV because it's, it's the television of truth. Uh, the truth here is uh, this uh, accord is signing. I don't think uh, they are keeping to such a, 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 a signature, just like a treaty. You know, when you go uh, into an agreement uh, with a constitu uh, constitutional wise or within a body of uh, authority and you sign an agreement that you are going to ensure that this election is going to be peaceful, without tribal uh, brutality, without religious brutality, without ethnocentric brutality. Uh, I, I think you're supposed to keep to that. But the issue here is that none of them keep to that. They just go and uh, carry out a you know, signing ceremony. I think it's a signing ceremony. Uh, what I think uh, uh, should be done uh, for me going forward to foster such kind of reoccurrence is for us to have a deterrence mechanism. You know, the reason why people go and sign such kind of thing and they don't have, uh, there's no deterrence mechanism is because there's no consequence. It will start having consequence management of an effective punishment of people who sign such accord and go against such accord. For example, I go to sign that, hey, my party is going to maintain uh, everything signed in this document. We're not going to instigate violence. We're not going to say something that's going to cause the state of, the state of arrest. And I go against those signatures. I think there should be a sanction. Maybe I should be suspended from participating in any political office or maybe be withdrawn, just like what is happening in the United States as it is now, where the people are trying to hold Donald Trump accountable for the incident that transpired in Washington, D.C. So we should have government, uh, an institution in place that will hold these guys accountable so that they will understand that, hey, they are not bigger than Nigeria. They are not bigger than this country. Because I tell you for free, Ogaji, that somebody is lying to us. Some people are lying to us in this country. And I know the people that are lying to us. They are the politicians. Until now, we never knew that the Igbo, uh, you, you, if your mother is not a, 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 an Igbo woman, or your father is not an Igbo man, or a Yoruba man, or whatever may be, or maybe tribal, tribal difference, you cannot hold a position. That is tribal brutality. That is ethnocentric brutality. It is very, very wrong, and we need to cut that off from our uh, political space. Okay. So we need to identify those who are lying to us, which I personally have identified the liars, of this, to, to, uh, the liars in this uh, scenario, 
the politicians are lying to us. The Igbos are good people. The Yorubas are good people. The Hausas are good people. I'm from the Isha Kingdom. The Ishans are good people. The Bini are good, good people. Where you came from, or Gaji, your people are good people. So nobody should come and tell us a lie. That lie must be attacked with speed and momentum. Okay. If we don't attack that lie, then I tell you for free, we are treading on the path of another civil war. Okay. If care is not taken. But for bees. All right, thank you. Uh, we should identify the people who are lying to us and make sure we, we name and shame them, as it were. You know, let, let them face yeah. the consequences as, is, as it is. We'd yeah. like to thank you, Dixon yeah. or Sajir, for coming on the show. Uh, you, you've been very thank helpful. Thank you, to you. Yeah. So uh, we'll be talking with Dixon Omadiale Osaji, a criminologist and global security analyst, and he's been telling us what is happening here and what should have been done by the DSS instead of the broadcast that they gave to us and some of the suggestions that can make our polity a little more secure. We'd like to thank you also for being a part of this program this evening. Uh, until tomorrow when we will do another edition, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Bye for now.